Welcome back to Soma. We've finally arrived at Phi, where I should be able to find the Ark and launch it into space using the space gun. I'm sure everything's gonna go to plan and everything's gonna be perfect and I'll live happily ever after. It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. Ugh. I'll have both my arms in the Ark, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. hard to see. Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Site map, okay. Oh boy, this place is big. So that's me. That goes up to auxiliary. Oh, that goes up to the launch dome if I go... Yep, that way. <clears throat> what's that over there? That blinking thing. Is that the arc? And what's that red thing? A satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the barrel. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before progression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Transport, Phi Cargo Bay, uh, contains the Ark. Okay, so it made it here. Requires manual offload. Yeah, so it's here. And yep, it's right there where I thought it was. Still doesn't explain what the red dot was over here, though. <sighs> Nothing interesting, although a whole lot of people came in on one day. That would be when they all came here to try to launch the, the, um, the Ark, right? I'm assuming that would be it. Yeah, there's Catherine Chun. Sarah Lindwall. Yep. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, something's not right. One, two, three, four, five. Four came in. Uh, five came in on one day. Four left. Uh. Catherine. Catherine never left? Wait, what? Wow, it's been too long. Did she say anything about this? About not leaving? She's still here? What what happened? Hmm. Unsigned Riley Herber visit. Or not Riley, it's Ra Rally? Something like that? 
It's like R A L E I G H or something like that. <sighs> Launching the Ark. Twelve twenty seven. So yeah, I guess Catherine's still here. Maybe that's what the red blip on the site map is. Catherine's body, maybe? Alright, launch log. Mm. On our Haimatsu orbital platform freighter. Completed. Completed. Communications, mm hmm Just launching launching satellites for other people. Orbital platform, reconnaissance satellite. Oh, what is this? After ten years of impeccable operation, the Omega space gun will shut down, but it took an apocalypse to be made redundant. Well, wow, sounds like it was a great piece of machinery. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104. 3.30 a.m. But I don't remember when we started. I don't remember either. So is everything unlocked, even back here? You know... Yeah. I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? Hold on, where's the service area lead to? Where does the service area lead to? I guess that's this way. Let's go check that place out. It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. <laughs> what will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. What's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so. Probably gonna have to do something with that at some point, I'm guessing. Okay, well now that I've, I guess, killed the WoW, is there any harm in touching it? Am I gonna stick my other arm in it and risk <laughs> that getting bit off too? Make it hard to operate consoles. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Here. Suck on this soap. You squishy monstrosity. Rations already moved to Tao. Get your ass back there if you're hungry. Kofsky. Alright. 
nothing that way. Nothing back there. Means the only way to go is loading dock. Ugh, that arm. At least I don't feel pain, I guess. I guess I don't. Otherwise, I would be in an incredible amount of pain right now. It's a blood trail coming from here. Or going into here. Leave that closed for now. Oh shit. Let's leave that in for now. Where's the bloodstain go? Oh, the bloodstain's from this thing. Why oh, is there so much blood on it? Huh. Oh, come on. Maybe if I punch this thing, it would stop sucking the power and I could use this door? I don't know, I'm not gonna do it though. Oh, it needs a battery. Does this thing need a battery too? Well, kinda needs me to chop that off and then put a battery in, I guess. Alright, let's go grab it. Actually, before grabbing it, let's go follow the blood trail back to its source. Is that Catherine? That's Catherine's body. Someone killed her with a wrench. You bashed her in the head with a wrench. Who? It must have been one of the four people that went back, right? Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine, it's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark! I'm taking it! No, you're not. I'm not gonna let you ruin this! Stop it! Guys, calm down! Get away from me! No! What the fuck did you do? It 
was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you? Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. Really? Do you really think it's better this way? How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought I might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. So How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Does that mean if she goes into the Ark, like everyone else, she's gonna spend her life with her murderers? Or murderer, I guess it was just one person that, that killed her, but... God. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one, someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. <laughs> I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the Ark. Right. I'll go pick it up. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Excuse the sneeze, by the way. Here it is. We got the Ark back. Good job, Simon. Take it to the assembly space and load the bullet. Now it's all extra dark and creepy. Notice that there's a door back there, the one with the connection to the WoW thing, that I couldn't open? There's one door down here I couldn't open, which implies that there, there's hidden stuff behind the door, meaning there could be something down here with me, waiting to come out. of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Come back up and we'll add the gun.
Just wanted to check on this door again, make sure it hasn't mysteriously opened. Dome. Now what? Now we just need to get the shell onto the gun and then kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. So those red lights I saw going off into the distance before, those were the space gun, the barrel. Right, that's where I'm supposed to go. To the pilot seat, but I'm curious, what's around here? signs. Restricted area. Do not operate machinery without safeguards. Yeah, we're a little bit past that. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I see. Automatically moves to wherever I aim. Let's grab this. Rotate it. How do I do that? Oh, does it automatically? Cool. There we go. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Hmm. Honestly, I don't believe her. 
But I don't really believe her that she tied them both to the same switch. I think maybe she What are didn't. you waiting for? Just bracing myself. Well, push the button when you're done. I have a feeling that maybe we're not on the Ark. Or maybe we are, but... Uh, I don't know. Who the hell you knows? Okay? Yeah. It's just crazy thinking about what we're doing. Ditching Earth. Boggles your mind, doesn't it? This is just going to be like before, though, isn't it? My mind's not going to be transferred, it's just going to be copied. As soon as the simulation runs on the Ark, I'm still going to be here, I'm still going to be stuck here, right? Come on, Simon, let's get going. Push the button. Deep breaths, Catherine. Soon we'll be among the stars. Let's hope so. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here we go! No turning back! Thank you, Simon. Don't mess it. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Time. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. Is it not gonna have enough time to get me? 10 seconds. 9. Eight, um, seven, six, you gotta be kidding me! Five, four, three, Come on, load. two, yeah, yes! Fuck yeah, we made it! <laughs> Watch it! Woo! We're here. Yep. No. We were getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, no, no. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks, but our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fuck! fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? That's the end? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody told me there's a scene after the credits. There's a scene after the credits. So, yeah, stay stay until the end. I have no idea what the scene is, but... <laughs> oh. It's funny, that, that end, it's not really a twist, right? And that's perfectly okay. It doesn't make it any less powerful. I pretty much knew that was coming. It's just, we're, we're copied onto the Ark. Why would I not continue to be there in that body that I still was occupying, right? I was copied, not transferred. Just the same as before. That's what I thought would happen. That's exactly what happened. But it doesn't really change anything, does it? It doesn't make it any less sad. I wonder what the scene after the credits is gonna be. Is it gonna be the other, the other me, the other us on the Ark? Living in our little, our little paradise, our little simulated paradise. Guess we'll find out. 
and I'm guessing the uh, the credits list is probably not going to be nearly as long as AAA games that have, usually have like two bajillion million people in the credits. I think this one's going to be shorter, so we should see the the end uh, end scene pretty soon. I'd also like to mention, while the credits are rolling here, we're waiting for the end scene, that um, Frictional Games has actually been posting little, um, little live-action shorts that I believe are meant for people that have already finished the game. So I don't know if they illuminate more of the story or exactly what they are. I've avoided watching them until I've actually finished the game. But they have made some live-action shorts, and uh, I'll, I'll link to it in the description if you want to check those out. I think we're almost at the end here. Yep. Some engine credits. <laughs> Production babies. <laughs> here we go. Yep, that's it. Let's see. This is playable. It's not a cutscene. Whoa. Is this... Did it work? Are we on the Ark? I don't have a flashlight anymore. That's a good sign. It means I'm not in a robot suit. Is everyone else here too? Calibration survey. If you're reading this, you've successfully entered the Ark. The survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. <laughs> sure, let's do the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? Why is this one red? Uh, well, I don't seem to be a robot anymore, I guess... I... I don't know. Normal? Oh, I, I can't say that. That's weird. Why can't I say that? Well, I guess I kind of feel fake, because I know I'm fake. Because I'm a simulation. Oh, wait, no, that's just our, the one that's already selected. Alright, I feel normal. I guess. I don't know. I, I mean, I feel fake and I feel normal. I'm not in a robot body, but I know I'm a simulation, so... I guess fake? Mental condition. feel lost. Your senses. Mm. 
They seem normal. Things look normal. Things sound normal. Sensation of my new condition. It's depressing. I mean, it's a hell of a lot better than how I was before, but... I know it's not real. Can't shake the feeling of it all being fake. You're troubled by the fact that you're no longer strictly human. Somewhat. I feel like I lost myself. Do you perceive your new existence? It's... it's something completely different. It's nothing to do with my previous self. I'm a copy. Does new existence be a life worth living? Maybe... Maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? No. Please tell me the other people are here. Oh, I see a building. Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. Oh hey, the menu image changed. Her face used to be all, like, corrupted and messed up, but now it's mostly normal. I feel... I feel a profound sense of, like, existential loneliness. <laughs> It's the best way I can think of to describe it.
I like that this game could be so powerful, even though I kind of knew what was going to happen in the end. Like, it's kind of... It's really, it's pretty obvious. Like, it's kind of the natural conclusion. It's not, it's not a twist. The end isn't really a twist at all. And I like that. I like that it isn't. And it's still powerful. Despite that. I feel like it actually kind of makes this game... Uh, I, I guess kind of unspoilable. I mean, honestly, even if I had been spoiled as to what happens in the game, although I wasn't, even if I was, I don't feel like it really would have taken away from much of anything. Somebody described this game as a psychological horror game. I don't know if I don't know if Frictional Games describes it themselves as a psychological horror game, but that definitely is what it is. It's very different from something like Amnesia the Dark Descent, just in like how it approaches the horror. Because Amnesia, most of the horror comes from the tension of monsters chasing you and running away from monsters and hiding. Most of most of the scariness comes from that. And this game certainly has that. It certainly has monsters that you have to run away from and they can kill you. Yeah, it's got that. But a big part of the horror is not not the not the heart pounding kind of horror, not the kind that makes you jump or, or startles you like a monster, but a big part of the horror is existential, psychological horror. Just the terror at trying to comp like comprehend existence. Trying to comprehend uh, consciousness. It's terrifying. Honestly, it's fucking terrifying. I mean, this game's sci-fi, but these are actual problems that at some point could actually reasonably be real issues. As silly as it might sound, technology is getting more and more advanced, and of course our understanding of the brain, although it gets better every day, is still amazingly incomplete. The brain is incredibly hard to figure out, but still, I'm pretty sure, unless we, I don't know, blow ourselves up with nuclear weapons or something, we'll probably get to the point where simulated intelligence or making copies of people's brains is a thing. Like, and when I, when I say simulated intelligence, I of course mean something better than artificial intelligence that we have in games. I mean, obviously all the enemies I ran away from in the game had artificial intelligence. That's simulated intelligence, but it's so rudimentary, you can't say it's conscious in, in any reasonable way. But... It's freaking terrifying. It's really, really terrifying to think about these things. It's scary. The thought of there being multiple U's at one time. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if anyone knows. Like, does anyone really know how consciousness works? I'm sure some people would say yes, but do they really know? Is it even possible to know? Is it, is it even possible to comprehend your own existence from within your own existence, if you know what I mean? I hope I'm not sounding like a... Like a, a you know, a 16-year-old high schooler trying to be deep. Like, whoa, man, what if we're all plugged into the Matrix? I mean, it's easy to sound like that, <laughs> but... God, it's terrifying. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, well, my brain hurts. I'm just gonna go feel existential sadness. But, um... Yeah. Let's, let's summarize Soma. Let's summarize it. What is Soma? Soma's a really freaking good game. It's really good. It's not quite what I expected it to be, and I mean that in the best way possible. It would have been so easy for Frictional Games to make another Amnesia, to just be... Frictional Games could have easily rested on their laurels and just pumped out amnesias. They could have just been an amnesia factory. And people would have played it, a lot of people would have loved it, tons of people would make YouTube videos of them with their webcams on, screaming to every monster, and... They could have done that. But they didn't. They didn't go the lazy route, they didn't go the route of repeating what they've done before. They said, we, had, they said, we made amnesia, it was pretty damn good, now let's make something that's ten times better. And they did. 
They made something that doesn't rely on jump scares. It's not the same thing. It's set in a completely different universe. It tackles horror very differently. It's not just monsters. It also has a huge psychological component to it. And it's bigger, and it's got more variety, and it looks better, and it plays better, and... They really hit this one out of the park. And they spent their time making it. I mean, what did... How long did this game spend in development? Like, four years or something? Possibly more? They took their time. And it shows. Because this is a damn extraordinary game. There's almost... There's like almost nothing I could even criticize about it, really. Um... I, I guess the dialogue, when you're talking to people, you click on them to, like, continue the dialogue. I guess that system is kind of awkward. Occasionally. Because sometimes they have dialogue right after you talk with them, and you kind of, like, interrupt it when you click on them again, and that was a little bit awkward, but that's such a minor thing. I, I don't know, I can't really think of anything else, really. It's just really good. Probably... No, I, I would say actually definitely the best horror game I've ever played. Honestly, the best horror games I've ever played all come from Frictional. Originally, some of the best horror games they played were the Penumbra series. And then the next game they made was Amnesia the Dark Descent, and then that was the best. Now they made Soma, and now that's the best. Frictional games is really... they really are the makers of the best horror games I've ever played. They're an extraordinary studio. They really think through their horror to, uh, to a level. And they're more daring to a level that most people just aren't. You know, I like horror. I really like horror, whether it be games or movies, but I don't watch most horror movies and I don't play most horror games because usually they're just really, they're really boring. They're really, they just do the tried and true Slender Man thing or running away from monsters thing and it's just, they don't do anything unique enough to be interesting and set themselves apart. But Frictional does. I have massive amounts of respect for that. Yeah, so that has been Soma. I have very much enjoyed it. One thing I'm curious about, and now that I've finished the game I wouldn't mind spoiling the hell out of myself, since there's really nothing much to spoil. One thing I'm curious about is what my decisions in certain parts of the game actually affect, if anything at all. Specifically, I guess the two things I'm wondering about the most, probably, are if you keep touching the WoW, or like the, you know, the little healing orifice things, if you keep touching those, does that have an effect on the story? And if so, what's that effect? And the other thing is, if you decide not to kill the WoW, also, what effect does that have? I wonder. Because this doesn't strike me as a multi-choice kind of game. Like, it strikes me as a very linear game, like they had a very specific story they wanted to tell, so I would be surprised if those things really had a significant effect. But, maybe they did. It's possible they did. So, I think I'll read about that. Alright, so yeah, thank you very much for joining me, I've had a wonderful time with Soma. I hope you have as well. Once again, I'm gonna link those frictional little uh, live-action videos that they've been posting. I'm going to link that in the description if you want to watch them. I'm going to watch them after I finish editing this video as well. And thanks for watching. <laughs>